We've come to the end of 4.3 day two and I want to just give you a little bit of an introduction to what the unit circle is. So we've been talking about this unit circle or standard circle, but why is it called that is, is a, a good question to ask ourselves. Now in math, that word unit means one. And so when we say the unit circle, that means there's something to do with one and the something is the radius. And so we're looking at a radius or a hypotenuse that's always equal to one. Now, um, you may not have realized, but that was why we were working with these types of ratios, noticing that in the 45 degree triangle, we had the hypotenuse is one. We also had the same thing in the 30, 60 triangle that the hypotenuse is one. So that everywhere you go around this circle, it's equal to one. For instance, if I were to get a 30 degree angle right here and I were to draw in my triangle, we would have a side of one half here, we would have square root of three over two here, and we would have one for the radius or the hypotenuse. And no matter what triangle you place in this circle, maybe we go over here to the 135 and make our 45, 45, 90, that would make square root of two over two, that would make this one negative square root of two over two, but the hypotenuse here would still be one. And no matter where you go around the circle, no matter uh, which one you put in there, the radius or the hypotenuse is always going to be equal to one. And so that uh, is going to be a real advantage to us. And it's actually in the next section going to help us redefine the, um, the trig ratios one more time to make it just a little bit simpler for graphing purposes. So we're doing all this to eventually move into uh, graphing with trigonometry and that will be coming up in section 4.4.